Hey everyone, Sean Jones here with Revolution Payments. Today I'm doing a short video on Visa's different interchange qualification levels based on accepting commercial, business, and government transactions. I'm going to show you the best possible rate and the worst possible rate. Here at the top we have large ticket. So this, this applies to transactions that fall anywhere between $8,725 to $10,000. If you process transactions above those amount, make sure and check out our insights on our blog or some videos that I've done in the past to talk about the Visa uh, Large Ticket Advantage Program. You can actually process transactions for under a half percent based on the size of those tickets. So level three, level three means that you are providing level three detail when you're accepting a commercial purchasing or government card. This is really important because if you accept those transactions without level three detail, you're always going to pay about 1% more than the best rate you can receive from your processor. So the actual interchange rate for that transaction is 2.65. So you're either paying 1.9 or 2.65 in interchange before your processor applies whatever rate that they're going to charge you. So very important. Level two, this applies more to Visa business cards. Visa business cards do not qualify for level three, but they qualify for level two interchange rates. However, Visa requires a tax amount between one and 22%. There again, if you enter those, that, that information on those transactions, you can easily save a half percent versus not. The next rate qualification that we have is the Visa B2B rate. Now this particular rate only applies to Visa Signature Preferred Cards. And if you Google search Visa B2B rate, you'll see the MCC codes. Well, actually you'll see a, a blog that I did about this as well. And it shows the different MCC codes that are eligible for this program. You can see if you fall under that category, make sure that your processor sets you up with that specific MCC code so your transactions qualify those lower interchange rates. Lastly, we have standard. Now this is the worst rate, and if you see standard on your statement, it might say commercial standard or STND or just standard, that means you're doing something wrong. That means that those transactions are downgrading at the point of sale for one reason or another. The biggest culprits for this is you're either doing a pre-authorization for one amount and settling a different amount, you're not batching your terminal or your gateway or your transactions in a timely manner. Third, you're keying transactions in, but you're skipping the zip code field. If those happen, and there's other reasons why as well, but those are the, the main three culprits, those transactions are going to downgrade to standard. Uh, if you have any questions regarding whether level three or if you're set up properly, if your transactions are qualifying as the lowest interchange rates that they should, don't hesitate to give us a call, 888-790-3450. This is Sean Jones with Revolution Payments. Thank you and have a wonderful day.